You like my style? I, uh, I, I seem to be stuck that are you ever since, uh, you clicked on this video. Hence, why I did it for the, uh, thumbnail. Stuff like that. <laughs> Whew. Okay, well. Well, I guess I do need a little, uh, something, uh, for, uh, for once, uh, for this, uh, video, so. So, yeah, anyways, uh. Hey guys, this is AcleTac4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys, and well, I guess it has been a couple of weeks since I actually uh, did the last uh, thoughts video that I uh, did, uh, and well, I did spend the majority of uh, the past uh, weekend uh, occupied at uh, Retro Game Kong uh, this year, so so I think it makes sense to uh, finally uh, get ourselves uh, back in uh, with, of course, uh, what I do uh, on the uh, regular uh, for sure, so. So yeah, either way, now that I've uh, got uh, done with, of course, on my latest uh, convention, it's uh, back to, of course, uh, seeing uh, movies on the big screen as uh, normal, right up until something's uh, changed uh, over time, but we'll have to wait and see on that. And quite funny enough, seeing if how we're still in the month of October as of now, and Halloween uh, will uh, is still right around the corner as we uh, speak, I think we should probably do something a little... Uh, a little something uh, special uh, right around uh, for this uh, month uh, for sure. And I guess see how uh, pretty much uh, pretty much uh, October is not only when Halloween will be coming up very soon, but it's also uh, declared as Spooky Month uh, for uh, sure. I think it's actually uh, quite fitting to hang uh, We should uh, pretty much uh, for my next movie that uh, I'll be uh, talking about here today. We would be uh, pretty much uh, be talking about a horror movie once again. So. So yeah, I guess either way, uh, kind of makes sense, of course, on that front, because yeah, October is uh, definitely the uh, perfect month uh, for uh, horror movies uh, to uh, be uh, on the rise uh, for uh, sure, uh, so. so that shouldn't be a uh, big deal, of course, uh, that front uh, for sure, in fact. I know that's uh, saying a whole lot since I know uh, the, pla uh, the past uh, year I've been bombarded with, of course, uh, three horror movies uh, for sure. So, I guess, uh, given to, of course, uh, what we got for this year, I think it looks like uh, this one probably might be the only one, uh, for sure. But we'll have to wait and see on that, so. So, yeah, I think, it, uh, of course, uh, makes sense, uh, of course, that front. So, so yeah, with that being said, I guess I uh, figure for uh, today's uh, movie we'll be uh, talking about here today, I think we'll not only be uh, talking about a horror movie, but... Keeping with uh, what we actually uh, talked about in the previous uh, thoughts video, when I talked about uh, Joker Filet Do, looks like uh, we're uh, in for another sequel as we uh, speak. So, so yeah, and, you know it's actually uh, quite interesting that I think it looks like since last year is of course uh, bombarded with of course uh, pretty much uh, three horror movies that I saw. I'm quite surprised that uh, pretty much uh, the last one I talked about, this one, and the next one I'll be uh, talking about. Looks like it's uh, pretty much a whole uh, creepy and uh, spooky uh, filled sequel month uh, for uh, me. I know that's saying a whole lot, so. But hey, unlike uh, the previous uh, sequel that I actually uh, talked about, this one uh, is actually pretty good for uh, some reason and surprisingly enough it actually comes from of course the uh, well-known horror movie that came out uh, a couple of years ago that I sadly didn't see uh, until now so so yeah and of course uh, pretty much uh, judging by the uh, creepy smile that I gave earlier as you can see here yeah, yeah, I think you can pretty much uh, get the idea, of course, that front. So, so yeah, I guess uh, with that being said, uh, give it to that little hint. Looks like uh, we're uh, going to be in uh, to talk about uh, today's movie uh, that we've uh, decided to talk about uh, here today, which is none other than Smile 2. So, so yeah, that's, of course, uh, what we're going to be uh, talking about here today. It's not only the latest film that just came out not too long ago, but it's also the uh, sequel to the smashing uh, horror flick uh, from uh, 2022, which is, of course, Smile, so, so, yeah, it's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front. All right. All right, then, so, uh, so, yeah, before I can go ahead and talk about this uh, latest movie, I think it makes sense uh, for me to talk about, well, the first uh, Smile movie uh, that came out beforehand, now, 
Now, just for a full disclosure, uh, and I am admitting this uh, right now, I didn't actually see the first uh, Smile movie uh, when it came out a couple of years ago. Probably, I think, mainly because uh, it's... Mainly one that didn't pique my interest, uh, and I think it uh, just kind of sounds a bit ridiculous, of course, at that front, but... But over time, I actually heard pretty good things about uh, that Sega uh, movie for uh, sure, and, uh, and yeah, it actually has garnered uh, pretty much a ton of praise from critics and audience uh, for uh, sure, and... And, of course, luckily enough, I did manage to uh, finally check it out after I uh, got on uh, Blu-ray some time ago, and... And yeah, I'll admit... I actually do find myself uh, really enjoying uh, the first uh, Smile movie, uh, hands down. Uh, yeah, I think mean, I wouldn't necessarily uh, say it's a great film in my opinion, but I really do like it uh, for uh, what it is, uh, for uh, sure. Uh, I definitely uh, do think uh, pretty much uh, the uh, themes and ideas they uh, actually had is actually very solid. Uh, just, uh, of course, this uh, supernatural uh, being uh, that had uh, pretty much uh, victimized its uh, victims uh, through uh, giving us uh, such creepy smiles, uh, which meant, which uh, makes them uh, end up killing themselves, uh, for sure. Actually, is uh, very intriguing. I think the movie uh, really uh, did an impressive job in uh, exploiting that uh, quite well. While at the same time, I think I should also uh, mention the elephant in the room, uh, that being, of course, well, this movie actually uh, does uh, pretty much uh, deprive, of course, uh, the uh, theme of, of course, a uh, mental illness. Uh, <coughs> yeah, sorry. Pretty much uh, the uh, whole uh, theme of, of course, uh, mental uh, mental uh, illness uh, for sure. Uh, and, and yeah, I guess, uh, to be honest, that was, of course, the uh, very difficult subject matter uh, for sure. And, and I'm pretty sure... Uh, Pretty much uh, with uh, that, as well as, of course, uh, people who have suicidal thoughts, uh, just to name me a few alongside depression and grief, uh, for sure, it can be very tough uh, at the uh, same time. And if you are uh, one of those people who has uh, pretty much uh, experience with all those that I actually mentioned, I don't think this movie would be for you, uh, hands down. And I know that's saying a whole lot because, uh, because, yeah, let's face it, this movie can, of course, be pretty intense with, of course, uh, what it's actually doing. And I do mean that uh, quite literally, I think, uh, with, of course, uh, what I've actually uh, mentioned on months of plenty of others, uh, the first Smile movie uh, can be, of course, a uh, bizarre and intense one to uh, get through uh, hands down uh, for sure, so... So yeah, but regardless on that, I still think the uh, first uh, Smile movie is actually a really good movie uh, for sure with uh, a very engaging story, uh, characters that uh, I actually uh, get to uh, know as well as of course exploring the uh, themes and ideas and uh, and of course, uh, yeah, it really does deliver the intensity with the amount of blood and gory imagery at the uh, same time, so... So yeah, that's pretty much uh, why I can't say, of course, that front. So so I guess uh, given to that thought, I actually got myself uh, quite curious to uh, see on how uh, this sequel will uh, actually uh, do, uh, given to how well the uh, first film actually uh, did, uh, for sure. But moreover, I was actually open to the idea of, of course, uh, actually uh, incorporating uh, some uh, new uh, themes and ideas that I want to uh, add into, of course, uh, this one, uh, while keeping true to the uh, themes and ideas uh, to... Uh, Pretty much uh, from the uh, first film and carry it over to the uh, second film uh, to uh, really explore more uh, hands down uh, for sure. So, so yeah, that's of course uh, what uh, got me uh, intrigued. Uh, of course, uh, this uh, movie uh, for sure. So luckily enough, I did manage to uh, get myself in to uh, go and see this uh, movie uh, not too long ago. All thanks to the kind people at Crown City Cinemas, as always, and. And yeah, now that I've officially got back from, of course, uh, seeing it, I guess a lot of you guys may be wondering, what do I think of this uh, movie now that I finally got the chance to see it? Well, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I definitely uh, do uh, like this one uh, as much as I like the uh, first film, so... So yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I can say, uh, of course, on uh, that front, uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, I think with, of course, uh, what you actually deliver, I really do think uh, this film is actually a pretty solid sequel, uh, for sure. Uh, like I say, it really uh, did an incredible job, and of course, uh, expanding a whole lot, and uh, opening up to a different story, uh... Pretty much, uh, if uh, anything, but also keeping the uh, themes and ideas on what the uh, first film did, but also expand a whole lot uh, in ways we've uh, never actually uh, seen before, uh, for sure. And I think this uh, movie uh, did a really fantastic job on, of course, that front, so... 
So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say about this uh, movie uh, in a nutshell. I actually uh, do find myself really enjoying it, so, so yeah. Alright. Alrighty then, so, uh, so yeah, now that I've, uh, officially got the, uh, short version out of the way, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about everything that I need to, uh, talk about. So, so yeah, for starters is, of course, the story, and, and honestly, to me, I think, uh, with, uh, what they actually, uh, did, I really do think the, uh, story in this movie is actually very engaging, and I really do, uh, fall through on, of course, on uh, what goes on, uh, for sure. Like I said, it's keeping, uh, the, uh, themes and ideas from the, uh, first film, uh, for uh, sure, but also expand the whole log, uh, in ways we've never actually seen before, and I really do think, uh, they, uh, really did an impressive job, and of course, uh, exploring that, uh, quite well, uh, for uh, sure, uh, it isn't just, uh, pretty much a, a full-on repeat, uh, for uh, sure, to which, thankfully, it's not, uh, to be, uh, hung as hand. And I'm really glad uh, they uh, didn't uh, actually uh, repeat uh, all the stuff we've seen in the uh, first film on uh, hand sound. No, it definitely wants to uh, expand and continue on uh, with the uh, whole storyline, but from a different perspective, uh, as always. And I really do think uh, they did an impressive job, and of course, uh, doing that. And I really uh, applaud the amount of uh, commitment they actually did to uh, make this uh, one work, uh, for sure, so... So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, of course, of uh, the uh, story for sure. And of course, uh, for the writing, I uh, have to uh, say... Yeah, that too, I uh, will have to uh, say, is also uh, very well done, for sure. I actually do think the uh, writing in this film is actually very well crafted, uh, for sure. Yeah, I do applaud uh, the uh, pretty much uh, the uh, commitment they actually did to uh, really uh, make this uh, movie uh, look uh, great, uh, for sure. And thankfully, through every bit of uh, action and, of course, uh, every single bit of uh, dialogue, uh, for sure, it, uh, it's not uh, particularly run-of-the-mill. It actually uh, is uh, flowed out quite well, uh, for sure, that I can actually uh, really admire, uh, for sure, so... So, yeah, I guess either way, I think they uh, really did an impressive job with, of course, uh, the writing, I uh, have to uh, say, and... And, yeah, either way, I do fall through on, of course, uh, what goes on, uh, for uh, sure, so... So, yeah, either way, I think it's uh, pretty much uh, what I can say for the uh, story and the writing uh, for a uh, starter, so... So, yeah, it's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front. Alright, done with that. Alright, so, uh, so yeah, now that I've actually got those two out of the way, I guess I'll go ahead and talk about the next uh, couple of things that I need to uh, talk about, which I guess uh, for uh, our next uh, talking point is, of course, the characters, and... And honestly, to me, I think I uh, really uh, do admire the uh, characters uh, for uh, what they actually uh, did uh, for uh, sure. Uh, yeah, I think every single one of them I've actually uh, seen, I really do uh, love the uh, nice sense of uh, development uh, they actually uh, gave to uh, to uh, each and every single one of the uh, characters that I can easily follow through uh, hands down. Uh, and uh, you definitely know there are archetypes and you know there are flaws and, of course, uh, what uh, problems uh, they're uh, willing to overcome uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and and either way, I really do think uh, they uh, did an impressive job, uh, of course, uh, what they uh, did with the uh, characters, uh, for sure, and, and of course, if anything, uh, we uh, do uh, actually uh, kept our main focus mainly on our main character, to which I really do admire, uh, for sure, uh, as, uh, like, this uh, nice little uh, framing device, uh, for sure, uh, that, uh, that I can really uh, get behind, uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I guess either way, I really do think uh, they uh, did an impressive job with, of course, uh, the uh, characters, uh, for sure, and, and yeah, I really do uh, follow through on, of course, uh, each and every single one of them uh, rather flawlessly, uh, for sure, so... So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front. Now, as for the actors that came on board to play all these uh, characters... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I really do admire on how well casted this, uh, movie is, uh, for sure, and, and all the actors in it actually did give off some pretty good performances, in my opinion. Well, not particularly great, uh, in my opinion, but I think, uh, they, uh, did still pull off some pretty good performances that, uh, I can really get behind, uh, for sure. Particularly, uh, if anything, uh, pretty much our main character, who is, uh, played here by Naomi Scott, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, she actually, uh, really, uh, perfected, uh, our main lead, uh, quite well, uh, for sure, that I really do, uh, admire in such a way, uh, and, uh, 
And of course, I do admire uh, her uh, journey throughout the uh, entire movie trying to stop this uh, whole paranormal uh, entity that's uh, plaguing with her uh, mind, uh, which uh, is causing all these uh, creepy uh, smiles uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, pretty much uh, based on, of course, uh, everyone and everything uh, according to her uh, surroundings uh, for sure. So, so yeah. And, of course, I really do uh, love, of course, uh, what they actually dig. Uh, of course, uh, whether uh, pretty much uh, this thing she's trying to uh, fight against is, of course, uh, some supernatural uh, being. Or, uh, or of course, she's gone crazy and uh, it's uh, all in her uh, head uh, for sure. So, so yeah, that's something I really do admire uh, for sure. Uh, not just in this film, but also the uh, first uh, Smile movie, uh, hands down, uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, I think it actually does uh, play in your mind uh, for a bit on whether or not uh, there is a supernatural uh, entity that's uh, causing people to uh, give these creepy smiles that uh, makes them kill themselves. Or, of course, uh, they're uh, all in their heads and uh, they're just going crazy. So so I guess uh, jug uh, pretty much uh, juggling uh, back and forth uh, in between the uh, two, especially from, of course, uh, our main lead, is, of course, uh, what really drives this uh, movie, in my opinion. And I really do think uh, they really really uh, did their uh, best to uh, make it uh, look uh, great uh, for sure. And I do applaud it uh, for uh, the hag uh, for sure. So, so yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I can say for, of course, the uh, characters and the actors uh, for sure. Uh, I really do think uh, the uh, characters are developed well and the actors did pull off some uh, pretty good performances in my opinion. So, so yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, uh, of course, that front. All right. All right, so uh, so yeah, now that I've actually got those two out of the way, what else is there for me to uh, talk about? Actually, quite a whole lot uh, for sure. Uh, and, well, I guess seeing how this is indeed a, a horror movie for sure, I think we should definitely talk about the most important part of uh, any horror movie for sure. It's tone and atmosphere uh, for sure, so... So yeah, I guess uh, we all know for the fact, especially for me, that uh, when it comes to a horror film, the uh, tongue and atmosphere is, of course, uh, what uh, really uh, drives it uh, for sure. I really do think uh, pretty much uh, it is definitely the case uh, for, of course, this film. And I really do admire, uh, of course, uh, what they did with the uh, film's uh, tongue and atmosphere uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, everything about it is, of course, uh, played out quite well uh, for sure that I really do uh, admire in such a way that, uh, that really does. Uh, fitting well with, of course, uh, the uh, themes and ideas uh, in, of course, uh, this uh, movie, uh, for sure. And I really do uh, love, of course, uh, what they actually uh, did, uh, for sure. Uh, and... And yeah, I guess uh, either way, uh, with of course uh, pretty much uh, if anything, uh, that's something I can really uh, get behind uh, for sure, uh, especially with of course uh, uh, how creepy and eerie uh, things actually uh, played out to of course uh, some pretty solid jump scares as well. Uh, yeah, pretty much uh, whenever any one of those uh, come up, we actually do start to get frightened and, and I think with uh, what they actually did with of course uh, this film, yeah, I guess if anything, I always do love uh, pretty much in any horror film uh, wherever uh, pretty much uh, something creepy uh, happens that uh, gets me a little uh, frightened. Or, of course, uh, a, a jump scare uh, would occur uh, where, of course, I'd be uh, jumping out of my uh, seat uh, a bit. And, and, yeah, I think this movie uh, did a very uh, creative uh, job, of course, uh, providing all those uh, for uh, sure. Uh, and... I think, uh, if anything, they really, uh, were very solid, of course, on what they actually did, and I really love it uh, all the ways, so. So, yeah, and, of course, uh, for the uh, visuals and the effects, that, too, I will have to say is, uh, also, uh, done very well, uh, for uh, sure, uh, everything from, uh, what I've actually, uh, seen, uh, on screen, I really do, uh, love, uh, of course, uh, what they, uh, did with, of course, uh, most of it being, uh, practical and CG, uh, all rolled up into, a uh, one that I really do think, uh, blending quite well, uh, for uh, sure, uh, and I think they, uh, really, uh, uh, did an impressive job with, of course, on that front. And, oh, yeah, let's not forget to mention some awesome makeup job that the, uh, dig is, uh, well, uh, to, uh, sell on the, uh, blood and gory imagery, uh, the hag, uh, they actually showed off, to which, like I said, uh, much like the, uh, first film, they, uh, really went, uh, intense on the, uh, blood and gore, uh, of course, uh, that front, uh, for uh, sure, uh, yeah, it was so intense that, uh, I had to, uh, I did end up looking away, uh, for a big, uh, because of how, uh, grotesque it is, 
this. In fact, I haven't seen that much uh, blood and gore uh, be uh, that uh, intense uh, for sure since uh, the Saw movies uh, for sure, so... So yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I can say, of course, that front, uh, and I think they uh, did uh, a really impressive job, of course, uh, that front, uh, for sure, so. So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front, uh, hang, of course, uh, and oh yeah, even the parts of the uh, music as well, uh, also, uh, blending uh, quite well with everything else uh, going on, uh, for sure, uh, and again, uh, pretty much uh, going back to my talking point, uh, when I talked about the uh, tonguing atmosphere, I really do love on um, what they uh, did with the uh, music, uh, for sure, uh, pretty much uh, in, uh, having parts of it be a little creepy and eerie at the uh, same time, uh, like, you definitely know something terrifying is coming your way, uh, for sure, and this movie really took its time to uh, build that up uh, through the uh, music, uh, for sure, uh, Right up until, bam! Right, uh, right damn smack, uh, in the, uh, middle, uh, for a sure, right damn in front of you, uh, all, uh, all pretty much are ready to scare the fuck out of you, uh, for a sure, so. So, yeah, that's something I really do, uh, admire for a sure, and I think this movie, uh, really did an impressive job on that. And, of course, if anything, uh, for the uh, direction in this uh, film, to which uh, it is, of course, uh, done by the director of the first film, uh, Parker Finn. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think he uh, really did an impressive job uh, in uh, directing the uh, film uh, for uh, sure. Uh, I think with, of course, uh, what he actually uh, did to uh, make this uh, movie uh, work uh, for uh, sure, uh, actually uh, does work in a uh, very solid way that uh, I can really get behind uh, for uh, sure. And I do applaud his uh, commitment to uh, really uh, make this uh, movie uh, all the more uh, great uh, for uh, sure, so... So yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much uh, what I can say, of course, uh, that front uh, for sure. So so yeah, props to you, uh, Parker uh, Fing, uh, for uh, for uh, making this uh, movie uh, work uh, for sure. So so yeah, and of course, uh, the cinematography in this uh, film is also done uh, pretty well with some pretty good camera shots uh, that they uh, decide to uh, throw in uh, for sure. And I really do love, uh, of course, uh, pretty much on uh, what they've actually uh, done to uh, really uh, make this one stand out uh, for sure. Uh, and, and through every single camera shot that I've actually seen, it really does uh, work uh, quite well. Uh, that uh, I really do uh, admiring uh, such a way uh, for sure. So... So yeah, and of course the egging is of course uh, cut up uh, really uh, perfectly uh, through some uh, really uh, great uh, cuts. I'm not gonna lie, uh, through uh, some fantastic uh, egging uh, for uh, sure uh, that that uh, that I guess if anything not only matches with of course uh, the uh, film's uh, towing atmosphere uh, for sure, but also uh, with the uh, film's uh, pacing as well uh, for sure that. That, I won't lie, also uh, works well to the uh, film's uh, advantage, uh, for sure, that I can really get behind, uh, for sure, so. So, yeah, I guess either way, I really do love on uh, what they actually uh, did to uh, make this uh, movie uh, look uh, good, uh, for sure, so. So, I guess with everything that I've actually said, that pretty much shows on how much I uh, like this uh, movie, for sure, so. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front. All right. All right. So I guess uh, if, any, uh, if anything, that's pretty much everything that I can say about this movie. So, so yeah. Overall, uh, Smile Two, I definitely think is a uh, very uh, worthy and uh, and a uh, very well done uh, follow up to the uh, first uh, Smile movie that uh, came out beforehand. I think with, of course, uh, what they actually uh, did, I wouldn't necessarily uh, say it's actually uh, great by all means, but I really do think uh, they really did a good job, and of course, uh, making this uh, movie uh, work uh, quite well uh, for sure, and they actually uh, did it in a very clever way that uh, I can definitely uh, get behind uh, for sure. Like I said, it uh, definitely uh, keeps to the uh, themes and ideas of, of course, uh, on what the first film did, but it also pretty much uh, expanded a whole lot uh, from... Uh, Pretty much uh, in uh, telling a uh, different uh, story and a different perspective. Uh, so yeah, pretty much if anything, the uh, same scenario as, of course, the uh, first film, but actually uh, done uh, from uh, someone's, uh, pretty much a different person's uh, point of view uh, for sure. So. So yeah, and I think uh, this uh, movie really did uh, an impressive job, and of course, uh, doing all that. And and for that, I can't necessarily uh, say it's uh, pretty much uh, by all means uh, great, but I definitely do think it's actually uh, a pretty good movie uh, for sure. And 
And I guess in all honesty, I am glad I got to see the uh, first uh, Smile movie uh, before uh, this one uh, for sure. Uh, and if I would have gone back in time uh, to uh, pretty much uh, all the way back to when this film came out in 2022, I think I would have ended up uh, seeing it and somehow enjoying it uh, for uh, what it is uh, for sure. Uh, but, but then again, that was uh, right around a couple of years ago and uh, I didn't give it uh, much... Uh, Pretty much I thought back then uh, for sure, but but I'm glad I made up for it uh, now uh, for sure, and and I guess uh, with a uh, wife actually seeing uh, on how much I uh, really like the uh, first film, I can definitely make the uh, same argument for this film as uh, well uh, for sure. So so yeah, I guess either way, uh, if uh, if you're definitely one of those uh, hardcore horror movie uh, fans, I say this uh, this movie is uh, definitely well worth uh, checking out if you uh, got the uh, time. Although, if you are one of those uh, people that uh, actually have experience with, of course, uh, depression, grief, and, of course, uh, mental illness and stuff, then I say this movie is not for you, hands down, because, yeah, let's face it, there is a lot of uh, bizarre and intense stuff uh, that uh, they actually added in that I don't think you can actually uh, stomach uh, quite well, uh, for sure, uh, but that's just uh, my opinion, uh, for sure, uh, so, so, yeah, I guess either way, I do, uh, I do like this, uh, movie for what it is, and, and yeah, I say this is, uh, definitely well worth, uh, checking out, uh, regardless of what I have to, uh, say. Trust me when I say that, uh, pretty much of anything, uh, I think, uh, you're gonna be in for something, uh, really great that will definitely give you a, uh, really nice, uh, smile on your face. And I don't mean that, uh, in a creepy sort of way, just a regular, uh, type of way, uh, for sure, so... So yeah, that's pretty much what I can say, of course, that front, so, so yeah, for my final score, yeah, I'll be uh, fair off, of course, this one, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 as my final score, so, so yeah, like I said, I definitely do think it's actually a, a really good follow-up uh, to the uh, first uh, Smile uh, movie, uh, for sure, and, and I guess uh, with everything uh, that I've actually uh, said uh, for sure, I definitely do think it's actually uh, one that uh, I think uh, should uh, be a look tag uh, for sure. Uh, so. so yeah, if you actually uh, got the uh, time uh, for sure, I say definitely uh, check this one out uh, for sure. Uh, because yeah, if anything, uh, despite uh, how bizarre and intense it can be, much like the uh, first film, I definitely know you're going to be in for uh, something uh, really terrifying uh, around this uh, spooky time of year uh, for sure. So. so yeah, I guess either way, that's pretty much everything that I can say, of course, that front. So, so yeah. Alright. Alright, so I guess on that thought, that'll pretty much uh, do exactly that. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, latest uh, Thoughts video. And by all means, I want to ask all of you guys, uh, what do you think of uh, Smile 2 if uh, you've actually uh, seen it? Do you absolutely uh, really uh, enjoy it? I think it's uh, as uh, good as the uh, first film. Or uh, do you absolutely hate it and think it's uh, an absolute uh, terrible uh, movie for what it is? Or are you somewhere in between where you think it's just all right for what it is so so yeah let me know what you thought of this movie down in the uh, comments down below i would love to uh know on what you guys uh, think of this one for sure so so yeah that's pretty much what i can say of course that front thank you guys so much for watching this uh latest uh, thoughts video and well i guess of anything uh, we're not done with uh, this month just yet because well hopefully i think with the uh, next uh, movie that i'll actually uh, go see it might be a little bit more Liger, uh, to uh, say the uh, least. I definitely know I uh, will actually uh, do that, uh, since after all, I've actually uh, gone through seeing this uh, movie for uh, sure, so. So, yeah. I guess if anything, uh, after what I've actually been through uh, seeing this one, maybe I need uh, a little something uh, Liger uh, for uh, sure to uh, help calm my nerves uh, for uh, sure, so. who boy. So yeah, I guess I'll uh, definitely leave you at that. So so yeah, I guess uh, right up until uh, my uh, next uh, thoughts video comes around, uh, all I can say uh, for now is thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. 
special thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon for making today's video possible, including my top tier supporters for this month, VD. So if you want to be like these guys and show your support to us, then go to patreon.com forward slash TV to pledge now, do so, and get some awesome rewards within your budget. Hey guys, this is AkaliTac4427 here, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Feel free to like, comment, and share if you enjoy what you're seeing. If you like what you see here and want to see more videos coming up, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and switch on the notification bell to get notifications and select all notifications to be notified for when we post a new video. And don't forget to switch on notifications on your phone as well. Also, don't forget to check out my second channel and our two-member channel with Sam the Thomas Fan 1, Sam Attack 4427 the Thomas Fan 1 Productions for plenty more content you can't find on here. You can check both of our channels out with the links or by our handles provided on screen. Feel free to shoot me an email with my email address provided, beackley95 at hotmail.com if you want to ask me a question, want to collab with me for a project you've got in the works, or if you want to book me to be featured for a convention coming up. Follow me on my social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to keep up to date with me on updates, announcements, and new releases of my videos, as well as plenty of others I've got with my handles provided, as well as the links down in the description box below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok for other videos I've got aside from the ones I've posted on YouTube and on Twitch for any future live streams I've got coming up soon. As well as join our official Discord server to see what we've provided. If you wish to show your support to me, then feel free to check out my Patreon to get sneak peeks of my videos coming up before they go up online, as well as gain access to updates and play more in addition to gain some awesome rewards within your budget. Also, don't forget to check out and show your support to me on my wishlist on Amazon, and even supporting me at streamlabs.com forward slash TV forward slash tip that you can find in the description box below as well as on my Twitch page. And in case you can't find any of the links that are provided, then not to worry about a thing. All the links and stuff are also provided on my link tree that you can also find in the description box below as well as a few selected number of my social media pages. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you in the next video. Take care.